Hello everyone, a warm welcome to DHK. Deutsch is here kostenlos. Or as one says it in English, German is free of cost here. This is the beginning of your journey to becoming a great German speaker for free. This course, as I like to call it, is an extensive open-ended course. You will also be eligible for a course completion certificate at the end of every level. That's right, and I'll definitely get to that in a bit. But before that, we shall look into the course extensiveness, the structure, course requirements, and some expectations. Coming to the course extensiveness, what I mean by open-ended is that this course will continue to go on regardless of what level of proficiency it reaches. Now of course do not freak out because the course is still meant for absolute beginners. All I'm saying is that more advanced topics will be covered with time based on your interest and response. As most of you might already know, the German language has different levels of proficiency. They are A1, A2, B1, B2, C1 and C2. I can confirm that A1 and A2 will definitely be covered in this course. If I get a good response from you all for these two levels, I will definitely add B1 to the course. And for a good response and engagement in B1, there will definitely be a B2 and so on. However, at the end of A2 level, one can easily frame sentences of their own choice and in fact also be able to live in Germany without a lot of effort. After B1, it is mostly, not fully, but mostly just about extensive vocabulary. The decision of where you want to stop is totally up to you and your personal proficiency requirements. Okay, let us go ahead to the course structure. For those who want a free certificate, the first step for you is to register in the link given in the description of this video with your name and email ID. This helps us generate your unique ID, certificate and finally send the certificate to you after you have completed a particular level. Please make sure you pause the video and read the note on your screen. It clarifies the significance of the certificate. Once you register, you are good to go. All the videos are going to be named as L1, L2 and so on. Just maintain the order in case you don't see the next video at the end of the current one. Somewhere in every video, there will be a mention of a keyword. Make sure you note down this keyword every single time if you are seeking a certificate. Because every lesson will have a separate test with the link to the test added in the description of that particular video. Exactly one question in the test is based on this keyword used in the video. The rest of the questions are towards self-assessment. However, the one question on the keyword has to be mandatorily correct for you to be eligible for the certificate. One or two wrong answers to the keyword questions in the complete language level is totally acceptable. At the end of one level, there will be a video briefly summarizing the level with some tips on the final test. The final test is the end of that language level and the video next to that shall be part of the next level. Now, those who do not seek a certificate can absolutely feel free to attempt every single test in the course. Just write not applicable in the unique ID field, which I'll be coming to shortly. Coming to the requirements. To learn German here at DHK, all you need is a notebook and a pen or pencil. Regularity is optional, but in order to be perfect at a language, or anything at all for that matter, it is really helpful. And that's all that you'll be needing to read, speak, listen and write good German. 
Now these are some of my expectations from you guys. Anything new you see on the screen, write it down in your notebook along with its meaning. Write down as much as you can in your notebook. You might feel that some things are easy to remember, but trust me, when everything piles up, it can get really confusing sometimes. It is an excellent practice to write stuff down, and by stuff, I mean literally everything. Moving on, before starting with a new video, revise everything you have in your book right from page 1 to the page you've last written on. You may skip a few lessons you feel you are very confident at. Practice this regularly, especially when it's been a day or more since you last watched a video. This will enable you to grasp more of the language without losing anything from your memory. Finally, solve the tests independently without any help. Especially online help, like using the translators and that kind of stuff. However, you may use your notebook if the test feels really impossible or not doable. So, coming to probably the most interesting part of this course, the course completion certificate. In order to be eligible for this certificate, keep in mind these three things. All the individual tests of all the lessons in the particular language level need to be submitted. The final test of the language level needs to be submitted. Each of your test submissions should contain the same unique ID provided to you upon registration. Please wait to receive the unique ID on email before attempting any test. That's all for this introductory video. I hope you guys are excited about the course. The first video will be uploaded soon. For any questions or issues or requests, do not hesitate to write to deutschistierkostenlos at gmail.com. You can also find it in the description of this video. See you in the next class. All the best. And once again, welcome to DHK.